Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Edutainment channel. My name is Sumale Bumuko, and I'm the first enrolled nursing auxiliary YouTuber in South Africa. In today's video, we are talking about the harsh reality of nursing. I feel like this one most people don't talk about because behind that cute uniform ain't nothing cute. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing cute okay so we are going to dive right into the video okay let's first start by saying welcome to the new members hi everybody please i hope you stay and please like and subscribe and comment to this video now <laughs> into the video okay let's first start by saying being a nurse in general it's a pressuring job okay it's not easy it's not easy because not only do you deal with patient but you also deal with their family members while you're dealing with their family members is the doctors while you're dealing with that is management so i feel like the pressure of pleasing everybody gets to most nurses and another thing about the reality and the harsh reality is that you're gonna do it all being a nurse is like being a nanny you are actually babying or babysitting sick people because you will be doing everything from head to toe okay you will be doing everything from head to toe it's not all about looking cute in your uniform sitting on the chair and chatting no it's about cleaning poop cleaning vomit going to the kitchen and getting water getting food even though it's not our job description but you will do it because you know why nurses are superheroes <laughs> if i should say so myself anyway uh, another harsh reality about being a nurse is that nobody cares. Nobody cares whether you didn't sleep well if you are a night shift nurse, you didn't sleep during the night, or you are tired from working a straight hour, 12 hour shift. Nobody cares. Everybody expects you to throw your weight. So that's why most nurses drag their feet because most of them are tired. Honestly, they are really tired. And I think another thing that is a harsh reality in nursing is the fact that your work goes unnoticed. Nobody notices when you do the small things for the patient. You have to be content with the fact that you do it because you are passionate about it. I always say nursing is not a calling, it's a profession. It's something that you can grow in, it's something that you can learn. But within that profession, you, go, you grow patience. You grow to be more compassionate with people and if you're not opening up to that or not willing to learn that then you're gonna have a hard problem you're gonna have a hard problem because the harsh reality is that people come to you as a nurse they come to you for comfort they come to you for healing even though you know for a fact that you cannot heal everybody but they expect that from you society expect that from you and you're not supposed to have any emotion you're not supposed to cry, you're not supposed to get angry, you're not supposed to react to anything. Even if a patient swears at you with mother nature or whatever it is, you are not supposed to say anything. So if you are easily angered, if you are easily offended, then unfortunately that's what you are going to deal with. Some deal with that every day, some more days than others, some less days than others. But we cannot excuse the fact that Patient are triggers to most nurses' mental health because you expect them to come to you and respect you at your workplace. They expect to come there and you respect them because they came to your workplace. You understand? So it's um, more like a 50-50 situation. If you give out respect, they must respect you back. But it doesn't happen. The harsh reality is that it doesn't happen. You give respect. You give it your all. And nobody cares nobody give a damn thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit the like button join this beautiful family i will see you on my next video bye